Hello everyone, it's Lisa here from Arcane and Stellar, and I've got another pick a card reading for you. So I think this is the first time I've done this one, but this is going to be an April 2020, like kind of like love predictions forecast for singles. So for those of you that are single, this will be a reading for you to kind of get a gauge about what's going on in your love life in the month of April. Um, we have four piles, one, two, three, and four, and the timestamps will be down below. Um, I also just want to say a huge thank you, first of all, to Eric again. <laughs> the Crow Tarot came yesterday. I'm so excited and we're using it in one of these decks. There's the Crow Tarot, so <laughs> see if you get it. Let me know if you get it because it's a very beautiful deck. I love the colors. Um, update, a good update. If you didn't see my story on YouTube, uh, my grandfather has made some improvements. Uh, they said that they took him off the ventilator and that he was breathing on his own for a bit. And he was also more coherent. And so what they think that what they were thinking was a brain damage might have been just him having a hard time coming out of sedation. So yay, I'm excited to hear that. I haven't had any updates in the since yesterday. Or no, even yesterday I didn't get one. So I guess everything's going good because they haven't updated it with anything bad. So really looking forward to this. And then thank you, Darlene, for reminding me. Do you see the Scrabble pieces? We're going to take some Scrabble pieces to get some words. I saw, I want to give a shout out to Ciara um, Stebbins because she does Scrabble pieces. And I bought these like over a month ago and I keep forgetting to use them. And then Darlene reminded me <laughs> on Instagram this morning. She's like, you should use Scrabble pieces. And I was like, oh yeah, I bought those, didn't I? I forgot. <laughs> So we're going to be using those and see what words for fun. It will be interesting to see what words come out and stuff like that. So um, with that being said, guys, if you want a personal reading with me, all that information is down in the description box. Um, I do have a Etsy readings. Yeah, Etsy readings. So you can purchase an, a reading on Etsy. One question, two question, three question, four question, <laughs> six month forecast, and uh, all that stuff. And then as well, there are my wish list. Again, with the heads up on the wish list. Some shipping's taking a long time. Although Eric, um, he bought something for my Eric, the one who bought the Crow Tarot. <laughs> he bought something for my birthday, which is coming up, and he said that it's like it actually came a lot faster. So. I don't know. I guess that maybe Amazon's also trying to save themselves from like late shipping so they sometimes say that. But anyways, even if you did get something and it says that it would take a long time, because by the way, if you didn't know, Amazon wishlist stuff, you'll get a reading in return. Um, I think most of you that watch the channel know that already, but I always give something in return for anybody who gets something off the wishlist. Um, just, uh, you know, let me know on Instagram, like DM me or email me to know, let me know you got me something if it's going to come late. So then I can do your reading before it comes because it's like, what's the point of waiting? That sucks. <laughs> if it's going to be really like a long wait, because some of the stuff it says like it has really outrageous, like timings, even for prime members for me. Um, it depends on what the item is, of course, though. So anyways, guys. I hope you all have a wonderful April. I hope all of you and your loved ones are feeling healthy, that everything's going well for you, and wishing you all the very best, and see you in your reading. Okay, so if you chose pile number one with this little citrine, it's a little tip off a geode, so a lot of people are like, that doesn't look like citrine. It, it is. It's just part of a geode, um, or whatever that is called. I think it's a geode. I, I don't know. Now I just, sometimes I second guess myself. So let's see what's coming up for you in your month of April, what's coming in your life. So we have, um, this is your overall um, advice card, and this is from the um, Legendary Ladies Goddess deck, and it's Hathor, so joy. We'll read the message to that. Let's see, we'll stick it over here. And then we've got Prince. <laughs> what's your favorite Prince song? I want to know. I love Little Red Corvette. Oh man, I love that song. <laughs> Chemistry. So it looks like there could be some chemistry going on in your love life in the month of April. So you're feeling chemistry with somebody. We also have never ending story and message in a bottle. A time to give rather than take new moon and Virgo. Shine bright like a candle. That reminds me of the Rihanna song. Every time I see that, I'm like, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Now this is where we have your tarot here. The devil the Five of Cups, the Tower, and the Fool. It's interesting. And then we also have the Fourth and Third House. Um, 
I've I noticed some interesting energy here in a lot of the readings. All three, like three of the piles out of four got the devil. I thought that was bizarre because I rarely ever have the devil pop up in my readings. Even my personal readings, it's very rare for the devil to come out. And there must be some kind of collective energy going on where people are really, maybe it's with all of what's been going on in the world that people are really getting more um, reevaluating themselves, understanding maybe patterns or addictions they have or negative self-talk. Um, and I do feel like for you guys in particular that chose pile number one, that's a huge thing for you because we also have never ending story here. So never ending story is about the things that we tell ourselves, um, the negative stuff, the stories we, you know, we narrate for our lives about love, about relationships. I think that many of you are going to be, um, really connecting with that part of yourself in the month of April um, in ways that maybe your addictions or your negative self-talk have caused heartbreak for yourself and loss. See with the Five of Cups how she has, the th there's the three cups that are like spilled, but then there are two cups that are being offered to her, but she's not seeing them. So there might be ways in which you haven't been seeing new opportunities. And I feel like in April, you're gonna have a breakthrough. There's gonna be something that comes in and shakes you up it could just be internal, like your own, you know, understanding and having just that clarity that comes into you. It could be from external um, forces, but I'm not, let me see here. I want to say that for some of you, it'll be external. It could be through a message that comes from someone, but it could also be your own, um, you know, your own self that just kind of has a breakthrough. Um, and just sort of, you know, <laughs> we also have the fool. So it does seem like you're going to be starting some kind of new beginning. I think for many of you, you guys might be talking to somebody new or at least you're, you're trying to take a new beginning towards something, um, with the fool here and then message in a bottle. I feel like a many of you will be talking to somebody new and you have chemistry with this person. For some of you, I do feel like as if in in April, what it's kind of about is about letting go of of maybe old situations or ways in which you've been holding yourself back. So maybe there have been connections that you are, you know, still holding on to, still obsessing about. But what I see in it, the fourth house is interesting because that is the roots of ourselves. It's about our background. It's about our, um, it can be about our comforts, our emotional attachments. Because the Cancer is the the ruler, like well, it's the fourth house, um, sign, you know, sign on the fourth house usually. I mean, in the traditional chart, and so our emotional attachments, our emotional patterns, um, our deep rooted feelings um, are often um, found in the fourth house. So, again, I think there's some kind of disruption to this. Again, if you felt like connected to anybody from like a very deep level, you might be able to break out of that attachment, especially if it's been unhealthy for you. Um, because it does seem like you're finally coming to some kind of pivotal moment in April where you're just sick of it. Um, maybe sick of the way you've been treating yourself, thinking about yourself, um, perceiving rela relationships. And that's funny that I said perceiving because now I just look down and it says perception. Your perceptions are probably going to change. Any deep-rooted per perceptions you've had are going to be changing um, for sure. And with the tower, I mean, it does represent something huge, like a big breakthrough um, or a big event. <clears throat> but yeah, with the third house here, that's funny because we have message in the bottle in the third house. Third house is all about talking and uh, it is, um, you know, associated with Gemini. So talking, getting to know other people. I do think that you guys will be communicating um, with somebody in the month of April. And like I said, I think there will be chemistry. So the one good thing about it is that even though we have this kind of like a little bit of a more negative energy at the beginning, it seems like as the month progresses, there's a lot more strength coming in, a lot more optimism. So we have shine bright like a candle. And the message here is you'll make you'll make it through this. So anything, if you start the month of April feeling kind of heavy about your love life, I feel like that's going to dissipate as the month goes on, um, as you have these breakthroughs. We also have here a time to give rather than take. I With this, I really do feel like it's towards yourself. Um, whenever I think of vertigo, ver, Virgos, Vertigos, I almost said Vertigo, what the, oh my gosh, 
whenever I think of Virgos, I think of um, a lot of the Virgos I know are very self-critical. And there might be ways with the devil in which you've been really hard on yourself. And maybe that's what some of this breakthrough is, is like seeing the more positive side or trying to become more optimistic in your love life and giving to yourself in a positive way. As well as to others, though, I think that um, you will be very more uh, giving to others. With the third house, in the fourth house, it's like family, siblings, neighbors as well. So look out for your neighbors. Um, maybe giving to your neighbors. That maybe that could bring something into your love life or could spark something. Maybe some of you have an interest in a neighbor that maybe you should make a move on in the month of April or they might make a move on you. Um, we also have Prince. Yeah, so Prince. I love the quotes here. It says, do what you damn well like, but always do it to the utmost. <laughs> Never lose touch with the colorful side, and your dream home lies outside of time. That's interesting, that last one. For some of you with the devil who have been caught up in illusions uh, of feelings, like we're feeling mm, like things are unattainable, again, I feel like there is some sense of optimism that will come to you in April in regards to your relationships um, or starting a relationship. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else. And then we have Hathor. So let's look at, I'd like to look at the message here. This is a really cool deck. And I like that the messages are short and sweet. They're not like really overwhelming or or um, too detailed. So Hathor is, you know, it, the keyword is joy. The origin is Egyptian. And it says, Goddess of love and joy, Hathor, the golden one, appears to usher in a new era of celebration and joy. You'll find happiness if you decide to pursue the avenue, avenue you're contemplating. Hooray! So if you have someone on your mind, this might be telling you to make a, a step. And I feel like a lot of this over here is more internal. For some of you, it could be from previous connections or connections you've been holding on to. But I feel like for many of you, it's it's more internal. Um, so that's the thing. I, I feel like if you have had your mind on somebody, take that step towards them. Message them. Don't, um, you know, tell yourself any false narratives about yourself. Like, let chemistry happen. You know what I mean? And and open up a little bit. Don't be... The fourth house always reminds me of where we hide ourselves the most. Because it's kind of like the roots of our chart. And so, make sure you're not living in your roots. Make sure you're you're, you're coming out a little bit more. Um, and, you know, engaging with other people if you haven't been. Because I do feel like you're on the path, you know, to something great. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take some Scrabble pieces. So, hold on, let me grab this. And let's see what words come out. I'm hoping this, they're going to come out like some vowels and not just consonants. <laughs> let's see. What does vowel number one need to know? I'll take a few more. There we go. Let's see what words. I want to... I love this. I love doing this on Ciara's channel. Um, if you haven't watched Ciara Stebbins, she does Scrabble pieces. And I love, like, looking at the words, like, trying to make words up <laughs> out of this. So maybe you guys will like it, too. I'm putting it at the end, so then if you don't want to watch it, you don't have to, to watch it. So let's see what we've got. Hmm. Hmm. This is like... No, there aren't two else. I thought I saw, I thought I saw the fool. We have sure. <laughs> Let's see here. What else we got? We got tub. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. <laughs> Three men in a tub. <laughs> okay, we have lie. So maybe lies that you tell yourself. You know. Don't lie to yourself, because that's that devil energy is, is lying to yourself about the negative things. Feeling sure. I do think that you're going to feel a little bit more sure about something, that's for sure, um, with the fool, because the fool is all about taking a risk. Let's see what else we've got. We've got five. Maybe that means something to you. Let's see. We have Q U I E T. Quiet. So maybe taking some time to be quiet 
and do some evaluation too before this hits because I think that that could actually quiet could actually have something to do and you withdrawing a little bit could have something to do with this tower moment okay I'm not gonna stay here to coy <laughs> So if you see any words that you, you, you notice, maybe some names, for instance. I didn't look at names. Um, maybe you see something in there that matches, <laughs> or your initials, or something fun. Tell me what you see. I just thought it'd be fun to add these in. So take care of yourselves, guys. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can do that down in the description box below. Um, there's Etsy and my Amazon wish list. I talked about it in the beginning, so I'm not going to really try to repeat it here. I think a lot of you probably know how it works. If not, it's all down in the description box where you can purchase a reading. And, of course, you know, getting something off the Amazon wish list always means you get a reading. So, um, in return, just be sure to email me and let me know. Um, or give me your email in the note, you know, so then I can email you when, you, um, when it comes and contact you or your Instagram. Anyways, guys, I really, yeah, I wish you and your family lots of good health um, during this time. Take care of yourselves and uh, sending you lots of love. And see you in the next video. Hello. So if you chose pile number two with this appetite, this is your reading. So let's see what's happening for you in love in April 2020. Okay, so this is the one that got the crow tarot. It's so beautiful. Okay, so you've got two goddess messages. You've got, um, what? Cradle lad? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Allah. Allah, morality. Okay. We also have Shakira. Oh my God, I love Shakira. <laughs> I don't listen to tons and tons of pop music, but I do love Shakira. Okay, we also have Orphaned. And not for you, I did not see that Orphan card. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Because I was shuffling and of course I see the cards as they come out. And I do tend to get messages like, you know, right away. Um, sometimes with those... When I do that, okay, north node in the square. The answers you need are coming. And then let's see, queen of pentacles. So we'll get up here, the death card. There's some, okay, I'm seven of, uh, seven of cups and then the devil. For you guys, this is going to be a, a huge, a huge month for you guys. Um, we have a lot of major arcana here, so I see huge things that run through your life um, happening in... I definitely see that with the devil, and this is interesting because the devil came out in three of the piles, by the way. I thought that was crazy. I was like, I hate when that happens because then there are people who are like, oh, all the piles had some similar messages. And it's like, well, I can't help it if there's collective energy. Um, and it's funny because the devil rarely comes out, especially like in personal readings, which I do tons of those. It like never comes out. Like ever, almost ever. It's a very rare card to come out. And so it's just interesting that it came out in three different decks, <laughs> into three different piles, you know what I mean? Um, so I was kind of tripping about that. Um, with the devil, I feel like some of you have been a bit stagnant in your life, in your love life. And it's because I noticed a chains around the crow's you know, feet, it's kind of like he's chained down. And again, with the Queen of Pentacles, kind of reminds me of a grounded energy too, being stuck or rooted somewhere. Because um, Pentacles can't talk about stability, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is very stable. She's got a home and she's got everything kind of going for her. For I feel for many of you, in some way, it represents the fact that maybe you have been stagnant um, in your life, maybe feeling rooted down maybe wanting to get away. For some of you, it could be, I feel like it's bigger than just being quarantined at home or stay at home orders. It's not, this is something more um, prominent. I don't think it's a, uh, from, you know, I see that you guys have had just a lot of issues <laughs> in terms of your love life. And I feel that there are gonna be some breakthroughs in the month of April. Um, we have the death card, so it does talk about transition, um, starting over in some way. For some of you, you could be stuck on people that aren't good for you. Um, I almost wonder if some of you could be engaged to somebody, which is weird because why would you be watching a single video? But I'm just throwing that out there. I felt that when it came out to say it. And I figured that one of you probably will be one at least. Um, 
but again too with the queen of pentacles maybe you want more engagement out in the world um and that's kind of one of the things you're dreaming about in april and i feel like there'll just be a lot of fantasy in april i don't necessarily see a lot of movement but i see a lot of internal movement if you know what i mean i think it's going to be a more internal movement rather than um so again more of an internal energy rather than an outward energy or outward actions or something like that for some of you with the devil you might be hooked on to a negative situation um and because we do have like squares and we have the north node we have not for you an orphan if you've been for those of you that have felt left out by somebody i do think that you, and maybe you've had your heart set on someone that is just no good you know what i mean and you know that they're not for you i think that in the month of april you're gonna understand that more for those of you where it's that's not the case, I think you're going to become, you might have a, a feeling of loneliness a little bit in the month of April. I hate saying that because it kind of sounds negative. But there's always positives to this, so we'll get into that. Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> it, it could be just because you are really secure in yourself in some way and you know what's not for you. And it's hard for you perhaps to find what you need. You know what I mean? In love. Maybe, you know, you've already been through a lot of crap before and you're like, I'm not settling anymore with that Queen of Pentacles. Um, you know, knowing your worth and, you know, caring about your money and about your home. And it, you, you've kind of already maybe put a lot of that. And if you haven't, I think that April is going to be a month where you're really focused on that because we do have finances and careers. Um, careers. <laughs> Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So it could be that some of you are really focused heavily on that. And it might even kind of overshadow other things but again i feel that for many of you some of your loneliness could come from your own choices but i don't think they're for some of you they're negative choices and for some of you it's more like your own self-worth um choices you know valuing yourself i think for some of you at the devil here though um there's something that's kind of rumbling in your life that's um it borders on either negative self-talk um because like this is a general reading so everyone's going to be a bit different but um negative self-talk holding yourself back um feeling tied down in some way feeling for some of you addicted or held on to past energies and like i said i think in april you're going to start to see the options and i feel like many of you are dreaming to go somewhere or dreaming to get out of the situation you're in dreaming to find somebody because the seven of cups is a lot about that and then we have well with Shakira I thought this was interesting because <laughs> this is a quote like I totally agree with and live by but travel is the most effective antidote to indifference whenever I travel and I maybe it's because I have a stellium in the ninth house but um whenever I travel I get a totally new perspective it somehow refreshes me and maybe some of you feel quite stuck right you know in I hate sounding so cliche because obviously everyone's going through this coronavirus stuff right now. Um, but, you know, travel can really shake us up. And so for some of you, you might be yearning to get away. Um, again, like with that devil energy, the first thing that my eye veered towards was that chain. Um, feeling chained down by something. Um, and it could be something heavy. It's all we have, don't dream about the sunset at midday. And know your rights. <laughs> So again, I feel like these quotes actually could, there are probably a few different types of people right now that are going through different things listening to this. And I think each quote is going to kind of resonate with a different, a different person that's watching. So for some of you, it's like, don't dream about the sunset at midday. Don't, uh, you know, get stuck on things that can't happen is what I'm feeling. Or I'm worrying too much about the future. For some of you especially if it's a future of a connection um i feel like i don't know with that death card i almost feel like for some of you it, there's a need to let go i know that i'm going to get dislikes on this video because some people aren't going to want to hear this uh especially when you're in the devil because <laughs> i've been there <laughs> you don't want to hear it <laughs> um but again it, it could be internal too for you for some of you guys if you're not hung up on somebody it's just about your own self um, and, you know, some of the ways in which you've been holding yourself back. And well, as well with know your rights, again, I feel like it's like a, a, an energy of 
you know, knowing what you want, like I said, being kind of picky sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with that because you don't want to settle for something, right? And uh, just for some of you, I just feel like some of you are going to feel kind of a bit lonely, which I don't like saying. <laughs> but I think it's all part of the plan because it does say North Node. We got the North Node coming up here, which is part of your destiny. It's part, part of your life path. It's the opposite of the South Node. The South Node is what's comfortable, what you come into knowing. A lot of people link it to your past lives and what's comfortable, yeah, like coming into this life. Whereas the North Node could be a little bit more uncomfortable, but it's meant. And that's what I see is some uncomfortable energy here. But it's all part of your destiny. It's all part about going towards the place you need to go. Um, it's going to help you develop into the person you're meant to be. And so remember, any challenges that you have in life, you create, you know, um, you use them to create knowledge and take knowledge from life and put you on a right on the right path so you know there's that and then we have as well the answers you need are coming so full moon in gemini so it does seem like the answers you need are going to be coming to you um i forgot to pull um an, an alice in wonderland oracle card for you guys so i'm going to go ahead and shuffle that out now um for you guys so what what is pile number Oops. wow okay i knew it that's funny clock time um, so yeah, timing here is a big deal for you. A time pressure in a rush. It could be that some of you are really f focused on the timing of somebody coming into your life, like wanting it to happen, dreaming about it to happen. That could be, so timing somehow it's not happening quick enough, or, um, I feel like that's going to be the energy for most of you. Um, the transition isn't happening quick enough. I need this to come into my life right now. And why isn't it coming in? Pile number two. A moment's regret. Nostalgia idolizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. Now that's devil energy right there. So please, in the month of April, avoid uh, you know, hanging on to something with nostalgia too much or idolizing the past again. I think that you need to let yourself go through this death. Um, you know, of moving forward, um, of rebirthing yourself in some way. And uh, as well, fearing you've made a mistake. That can happen sometimes with the Seven of Cups and you have a lot of options. And with the Devil, there could be worry about moving forward and making a mistake. Don't let yourself be held back by negative self-talk or negative thought patterns or narratives you told yourself about, about love, about life, about yourself, uh, most importantly. Also, with morality here, if some of you are, are, are caught up in a connection that isn't very moral, I think that you might be wanting to find something more stable in the month of April. And we also have self-care too. So let's look at the messages from the goddess deck. Morality. Um, Queen goddess of morality, fertility, death, and cycles, Allah is here to push you into to align with your integrity. If you're in the right, she'll help you find justice. If you're walking the line, she's here as a reminder to do what is right, even if it's not easy. So I feel like you're going to know where you fall in, in that advice. Um, you know, if you've been living a life of integrity, you've been, you know, putting in efforts and really working on yourself, you're going to find what you need soon. And I feel like, again, there is going to be some kind of shift here. And to remember to, you know, that it's coming for you, right? that the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. For some of you during Gemini season, it might even be when you find something. So May, May, June. Um, then we have, however you say that. <laughs> oh goodness, Craigilad. This is Welsh, yeah. I should, I have a friend that's Welsh. I should, she probably wouldn't even know. <laughs> she doesn't seem like the type who would know. <laughs> Um, okay, so I wouldn't even bother asking her. Um, it's time to take care of yourself. Goddess of flowers in spring. Oh, interesting. Spring, we're in spring right now. Um, Cradilad is guiding you to fill your own well and tend to your own garden because it's this the time to bloom is coming very soon. So again, it's telling you that love's coming for you very soon. It may not be in April, but again, don't get stuck in any of this negative energy, right? Try not to get stuck in it. Um, the good thing about negative energy is when you recognize it, then you can start trying to fix it. And that's the good news here. Um, <clears throat> again, with that, that don't dream about the sunset at midday. You're not in this season yet. You're coming into it, though, where things are going to really start to align. I do think that for many of you, the message here is for most of you with the Queen of Pentacles to focus on your finances and career and try not to let any of the, the more negative stuff come, come at you. Um, Jeremy. 
So I'm going to take some Scrabble pieces, and uh, so you can click off now if you're not interested in this. <laughs> but I thought it's fun. I love to do Ciara's. Uh, Ciara's Stebbins does it, and um, I've had these for a while now. I've had them for over a month. I think I ordered them a long time ago, and they've just been sitting in the bags that they came in. And I always like seeing the words. So if you see some words, tell me. If you see your initials, someone's initials that you're interested in, um, let me know. So I'm taking some out. I put a lot. <laughs> Two more. Okay. There we go. So this is the fun part. <laughs> Putting them together. Darlene reminded me about it. She's like, you need to do the Scrabble pieces this morning. And uh, I was like, yeah, oh my god, I forgot about those. And I, so I dumped them into the container. Oh, we have a lot of Ds. Okay, DD. Two Es. A B. A. I wanted to say L because that's L in Russian. Okay, V. <laughs> um, N. A's. Okay, we got some vowels. That's good. I always worry about not getting vowels because then you can't make a word. <laughs> oh, a lot of U's. We have a uh. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, there was another B. No, I guess not. Okay, O. Oh. So we have, oh, we have dog. <laughs> so don't get caught up on any dogs. <laughs> have some self-worth. We have dead. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's see what else we have. We have five here too, by the way. like the word number five mm. oh fade give give to yourself <laughs> we have dang <laughs> maybe something will make you say dang in the month of april <laughs> oh this is fun Okay, I'm going to stop here, though, because I, I, I'm trying to see if I see any names. I see Dave. Dave. Hmm. Hmm. I see Gabe, I think, right? We have Gabe, like Gabriel. Hmm. We also have like Ned, for instance. <laughs> Ned. We also have Gavin, I think. Yeah, Gavin. I'm looking up guy names now. It's like I'm finding all the guy names. We have B, like so like Beatrice. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah. So anyways, I, I'll, I'll stop here so because I could probably be here for like two hours. <laughs> so I don't want to waste your time. But anyways, guys, if you see some words here, let me know. <laughs> Write them down in the comments So because I, I like that. It's fun. Anyways, um, wishing you all the very best. Lots of good health for you and your loved ones. Take care of yourselves during this time um, as well. If you'd like a personal reading with me, that's all down in the description box below. I'm not going to ramble on too much about it, but I have a link to my Etsy. Um, I have... Uh, as well my Amazon wish list anybody who gets me something on my wish list always gets um, you know a reading in return just be sure to leave your email or Instagram so I can get a hold of you um, if your shipping time right now is like mega long um, and, and it, you, if you think it won't get here like till the end of the month just email me and let me know you got me something so then I can just set your reading up to go before it comes um, if you're not worried about using that deck like if you buy me like a deck or something like that if, you, if you're not um, concerned about that um, aspect of it. But anyways, guys, take care of yourselves. Sending you lots of love, and I will see you all in the next reading. Hello, so if you chose pile number three with the uh, blah, 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 blue calcite, sorry. <laughs> almost said appetite. I'm like, that's not appetite. <laughs> this is your reading. So what's going on for you guys in the month of April 2020 in regards to your love life? I've been seeing some prevailing energies, guys, here with the devil <laughs> popping up in a lot of piles, and you guys also have the devil, but um, we have Nuna, or Nua, sorry, I think that's a W, oops, um, so that's going to be your kind of advice for love and your life, and then we have Hildegard von Bingen, 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 
Ooh, this is interesting. I have no idea who she is. Um, your hard work is paying off. Trying. Aries. <laughs> nice, it's Aries season. Stay optimistic about your love life. So there is an optimism, I think, to, to you guys in the month of April, which is great. I like that. So I don't think the devil energy is going to be too... I honestly am not seeing it being too... Um, too uh, difficult. Because the pile two kind of felt like a little bit more heavy. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what is coming in your love life? Um, okay, with the leg up... I feel like for many of you, um, this was my uh, initial reaction when I saw the card when I was shuffling and it popped out. I feel like many of you will have the opportunity to help somebody in the month of April. Um, could be like a love interest or somebody that you like, um, or it could lead to something. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel that message. And then as well, okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off in the devil. Hmm. Okay, I feel for some of you, with Aries, the devil, and stuff like that, there could be somebody that you have a strong sexual attraction to in the month of April. Um, we have that king and page of swords, so it's interesting. Air signs kind of coming up here, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it just could be somebody that you communicate with a lot, that you talk to a lot. Um, I feel like many of you already have somebody that you have your, your, um, your eyes on in some way. I almost feel with this message is that you need to get the courage to talk to somebody. Um, whenever, like the King of Swords is the type of person who's not afraid to speak their mind. They live in their honesty, they live in their truth. And then with the Page of Swords, it's somebody who's starting out a little bit more curious, a little bit more held back. It's more about this, uh, somebody who's in the, in the mode of studying or researching. So, right, that's where we get this idea that, um, oh, they could be, you know, looking you up. So you could be looking at somebody on social media or somebody could be looking at you, actually. So this could be kind of, um reversible I guess because um, <clears throat> I don't know necessarily which one represents you so there's definitely probably some spying going on and there's actually with trying here it probably is mutual um, I do think that maybe with the devil here it could be that you're a bit addicted to somebody right now or you've got a, you've got like a kind of a bond with somebody um, or you feel that like strong strong attraction like I said I don't really feel the negative uh, devil energy as much in this in this one because um, we do have a lot of if there has been anything negative going on in your love life we do have stay optimistic don't let yourself get, you know, brought down by any negative self-talk. But generally, like, I see some good stuff going on. Um, in Nine of Pentacles here, I do think that you guys are feeling a lot more worthy in some way. Maybe you guys have something that happens to you in April that kind of brings about some self-confidence or more stability. With Aries, um, It does talk about a lot of, you know, well, it's a, it's associated with the first house, a lot of self-work um, and focus on the self. Mm -hmm. I almost feel if you're with the go the distance and the leg up that you might have the courage or somebody might have the courage to come towards you this month in April. Um, again, I feel for some of you it could turn into a sexual relationship, but take that as it resonates. You know, if you're young, no. Um... But then again, it could just be also exploring this connection a little bit more for some of you. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily feel hmm, anything bad. And maybe that's what you're doing is maybe you're being more bold about messaging somebody or talking to somebody more. We have creation. So it is telling you um, here your message for the month is, uh, let's look up here. Let's look her up. Nuwa, I want to say. Sorry, she's Chinese. So, goddess of creation, Nuwa, is signaling to use the raw material of your life to create something meaningful, perhaps to find your very purpose. It could be that you are focused, for some of you, focus on your purpose alongside your love life. Maybe that's why, or maybe, but I do feel like for most of you, you already are in a pretty good place in your life in some way. Um, you're not really wanting for much, per se, and you're just ready to create something Um better in your love life. 
Mm. Or if you have been more focused on yourself, you're getting to that place where in April you're really going to start to feel more alive in some way and more ready to pursue something too. Because Aries does talk about beginnings and we have creation here. So you might be in the mode to actually want to create something. So that's why I think I see with this, the swords here, I'm feeling that that's why maybe you're going to be more willing to get out there and investigate, look at people more. Um, I, th I do think that your relationships are going to flow a bit better as well. We have, so Hildegard von bin, Bingen, 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 become like a feather on the breath of God, gain wisdom through the study of the unknown. <laughs> that reminds me funny, because that's kind of funny, because Page of Swords is kind of about studying. <laughs> so maybe you're studying somebody, or they're studying you. And the soul is, is not in the body, the body is in the soul. That's deep. Um, yeah. It, with a leg up and go the distance, there could be somebody in your life that needs your encouragement, and that might have something to do with your love life. Maybe there's someone you're interested in, like a crush, who could actually use some encouragement in the month of April, and this might be like a heads up, hey, give that person some encouragement, um, because they need it. Let's see, I wanna, I forgot to take an Alice in Wonderland Oracle card for you guys, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take one out. Um, okay, so pile number three, those that chose pile number three. What do they need to know about their love life in April? Okay. Find the lesson. Discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. So with the devil energy, you might be looking also logically at past situations that you've been in where you felt tied down. You may be just reevaluating and trying to find the purpose or why you felt chained to that person or why you felt chained in other ways of your life. Um, maybe ways in which you've held back, um, held yourself back from moving forward. It's crazy that the first three piles got the devil it's, it's i feel like i keep repeating one of the same thing i'm kind of excited for pile four because it's a totally different um ball game <laughs> let's see messages for pile number so we have all must have prizes trying to please everyone if you are um in a mode where you try to please everyone because you feel obligated to with the devil type of energy um, you might be coming out of that too here with the Nine of Swords. Um, I mean, Nine of Swords. I mean, the King and Page of Swords. Jeez, Knight. I wanted to say Knight. Then it sounded like I said Nine. <laughs> and then King and, and Page. It's like, perhaps you're growing more resilience mentally. <laughs> Mental resilience. And you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Yeah, I see that. If you guys are stuck on the past, um, again, kind of chained to the past in some way, I see clarity coming in for you. And a, a clear mind. I want to get one more. I feel like it. One more message for pile number three. Please. Hold on. Pile number three. A message for pile number three for April 20th. What's a message for pile number three? Oop, there we go. <laughs> and of course it fell down. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan the right direction. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Again, it's like getting rid of any past energies, thinking with more clarity about your future. Also investigating. Again, I think you're going to be investigating some stuff, um, whether it's new people, new options, um, new situations. That's kind of like you're really trying to figure out where you want to go. And you, you're being brutally honest with yourself in April, I think, um, about what you want out of life and how you can get there. So that's, I think, great energy. And I do feel like, again, your hard work is paying off. For those of you that have really been focusing on yourself, I think that you're going to finally start seeing some results from that. And I feel like a lot of you have done a lot of self-work here with Go the Distance. So let's see. Um, I would like to take uh, the Scrabble pieces now and go ahead and find some words with you guys. <laughs> so um, you can skip out if you're not in interested in this part. I'm just going to see if any initials come up, any any words in particular. And I think it's fun because I Ciara Stebbins does it. And I always love like watching her readings. And she's so cool, actually. You should check out her channel. But um she does the Scrabble pieces, and I've had these for a while, and Darlene reminded me, one of our, one of the girls who comments here a lot, you'll see I talk to her a lot on Instagram, she's a really nice friend, um, she was like, you need to use Scrabble pieces, I was like, 
Oh yeah, I should, huh? I bought those like a long time ago and I haven't used them. So I opened up the bag. So let's see what kind of letters come out for you. So yeah, if you see any particular words or anything in the comments, like, I mean, in here, tell me in the comments. Because I'm not going to try to spend all kinds of time on it because I could literally sit here for like ever looking for words because I think it's fun. But um, I'll try not to. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so you could be having some of that. <laughs> you could be, th it could be on your mind too. <laughs> okay, let's see. You could also be feeling more sexy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see here. Okay, we have Ben coming out. The name. The name Ben. We also have Ready to Go. Oh, we have Sun Sunny. Sunny Bono. <laughs> Sunny boy. Okay, we have that. Oh, C. Look at that. Yeah, I do think that many of you are going to be seeing things more clearly um, in the month of April. You're going to have some, like, clear vision about what you want. Definitely feel that. Oh, we also have beer. So maybe you guys will be drinking some beer. Maybe you should invite someone out for a beer. Hmm... We have nose. <laughs> we also have, I think, eyes. We have eye. <laughs> so maybe you're more focused on your physical self. That kind of reminds me of the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody who's focused on their physical body. And Aries, the first house, physical body. Some of you might be really, um, maybe you're trying new makeup techniques to attract people. Or, or you're worried about your appearance in some way. Or trying to sniff something out and eye something. <laughs> I think that could resonate differently. Let's see. We have run. <laughs> run. Maybe you're trying to run from the devil energies. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll stop here because I don't want to like bore you. It's like do doing so much of it. But if you see some, if you see some words in here, let me know because I'm, I'm, cu I'm curious to see what comes out for you guys. What you see? Maybe you see your initials or something like that. I don't see mine. No, I don't. <laughs> I have Elizabeth is my first name, though. So it starts in an E. <laughs> but anyways, oh, wait. I don't see Darlene in here. I know Darlene picked this pile because she told me. I showed her a picture of it on Instagram. <laughs> She's like, I picked this pile. <laughs> so I don't see Darlene in here. But I see something else. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, guys, if you'd like a pri private reading with me, um, or a personal reading, that's all down in the description box. Take care of yourselves. Have a good April. Um, I wish you and your loved ones all the very best health. Take care. And again, yeah, private reading stuff all down in the description box, Etsy, or the wish list. If you give me something off the wish list, be sure to, you know, include your email or Instagram so I can get a hold of you. And then as well, um, I wanted to say, if, if, if the shipping looks like it's going to be insane on some items, some things aren't, though, because, like, the Crow Tarot, for instance, didn't take that long. So I don't know, but I think, I don't know what the estimated date was, but then um, someone had got me, like, a birthday gift off of there, and it it was actually Eric as well. <laughs> but uh, they it ended up becoming faster than it was, like, estimating it to be, like, or it said it will come faster, so... I don't know. Anyways, if it does seem like it's going to take too long, though, just email me and, and let me know, and I'll do your reading before it comes if, you, if you're if you not interested, if you're not worried about having the, the deck that you get in the reading. Um, do you know what I mean? But anyways, take care. Again, sending you lots of love. See you all in the next reading. Hey, guys, so you chose pile number four. This is your reading. Oh, yeah, and this is the Bornite um, stone, so peacock's ore. Really pretty little stone. So... Let's see what's up for you guys. I'm kind of excited because all the other card, all the other piles had the devil card. <laughs> like, I don't know what the heck's going on. So we have, for this is your overall kind of um, 
advice for April. This is Chang O, oh, Divine Feminine. So I'm kind of excited to read the message about that. We also have Ravi Shankar. Awesome. He used to be, I think that's like who inspired a lot of the Beatles cool music. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So that's also some message for you from the Music or Oracle. And then we have Imagine. <clears throat> we also have Chiron Healing. Sagittarius. New Love. You are good enough. The, pa the Page of Coins. Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands. I want to say Eight of Fire for some reason. And the Magician. I feel like you guys are manifesting stuff um, big time in the month of April. Um, if it... You're putting some kind of physical step forward in love in page with Page of Coins. Some of you could have um, a a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your life. Um, I totally like kind of did those out of order, but um, an earth sign person, but it could just be um, also about um, actual tangible steps towards something or towards a person. We do have new love here. So um, there could be a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You could find somebody that kind of stirs your romantic feelings in the month of April. And there could be a lot of uh, messaging and talking going on here with the Eight of Wands. For some of you, there could be travel, although I don't necessarily, or maybe this person's from far away. Um, it, it could be, it could be a distant connection. Or maybe you guys are just at a distance right now. Um, in some way, um, not seeing each other, but, uh, I do see a lot of, like, communication and stuff like that, a lot of quick, uh, communication, it reminds me a lot of, uh, texting back and forth or, uh, messaging back and forth <coughs> <coughs> as well, <coughs> sorry, for some of you, you might have more, uh, because we have the Seven of Cups, you could have more than one person that you kind of have your eye on, or maybe you're talking to a lot of different people, and one in particular kind of stands out um, as April moves on as well. I do feel like, though, manifestation is going to be huge for you with the Magician and Imagine. Um, with the message for Imagine, which is, let me just pull out this real fast. I want to look at the message really quick. It says, tr uh, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning uh, imagery and feelings, creativity, illusions. So in matters of the heart, it easy, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. Well, that's romantic. If you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. That's, and see, moving beyond it says now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. I feel like that's what's going on. Um, Seven of Cups is a lot about imagining, thinking, dreaming, but Page of Coins is actually about putting out a physical effort. And if anything, you are encouraged to make that physical effort towards people that stir your romantic feelings. You know, message them, talk to them, try to create something with them with the magician. You have all the means to do it. You know, you have all the means to do it. And uh, so it says here, relationships are all about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You'll be changed for the better. Imagine that. So it does seem like, yeah, there's somebody new uh, for many of you coming into your life. Um, if not, it may be just somebody that you've known recently or maybe something's rekindled from the past. Um, again, it, that might resonate a little bit differently with everybody. If for some of you, it could be someone from the past. We do have Chiron, which talks about healing. But Chiron, I mean, can be um, relatable in different ways for you guys. Um, if it's not just a, a connection in which you're trying to, um, you know, repair in some way or bring back into fruition, um, you know, to into reality in some way. It could also just be about, you know, healing yourself in your, you know, it's your own self-development. Um, I do feel like there's a lot more freedom for you with Sagittarius. You're going to be again, a bit more optimistic, um, things are, I think, going to be going a little bit better. And it, it, Sagittarius also is about taking risks. So I feel like you have this ability to start taking some more risks in April, and I think you should choose to do so. And because we do have You Are Good Enough, Full Moon and Virgo. So some of you, with that, maybe you have um, Chiron and Virgo, or in the sixth house, or... Maybe you just have a lot of criticism of yourself to heal. Because um, Chiron is about self-doubt. 
for instance, generational trauma, shame, sensitivity, um, Chiron's where we need healing, even if it's not in the sixth house or in Virgo. Um, it, it, wherever Chiron is, is where we need healing. And uh, like for me, it's in my 10th house. So it's, you know, um, about my outer public life and stuff like that and how I relate out in the world and, and how I've seen and and uh, that type of stuff and career and all that um, jazz, you know, confidence, you know, is where it's, I've had to build confidence and all that stuff. So that's kind of what, you know, I feel like you're going to be coming out of that um, because you are very powerful as a magician here. You can manifest what you want and you can and you just got to throw yourself out there and start, you know, you know, taking that those chances. And I feel like you will have the opportunity um, to um, do that. So we also have, so with Ravi Shankar, we have always read and play between the lines. Your true nature is reflected in silence and music is the infinite space between two souls. Music could be something that um, connects you with somebody. So maybe sending out songs, <laughs> you know, posting songs. There could be a musical connection here um, with this person. And again, to always read and play between the lines. That's interesting. So maybe there can be some cryptic mu uh, messages coming in through music or posts. Um, be sure to read between the lines. There might be some things that are unclear um, about somebody that you're communicating with in the month of April. But what I feel like is if there's anything unclear, come out and say it. Like, you know, say, hey, what, what did you mean by that? Did that mean something? I, of course, some of you will be too chicken. I'm too chicken usually to do something like that. So I'm not going to judge you if you don't. But I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, so for your um, goddess, um, your legendary ladies goddess, you have Chang O, so Divine Feminine. Okay, Goddess of the Moon, Chang O, be appears before people to grant their innermost wishes and answer their questions. Look within yourself and indulge in some of your young or feminine practices, activities like spending time alone, journaling, or taking a bath to hear her answers. And that's what Sagittarius always reminds me of in Jupiter. It's wishes. It's like what we want. It's 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 uh, our optimistic nature. It's it's what we're you know really hoping for to learn. And it's about learning answers and you know answering getting answers to your questions. So a lot of this could be internal um, for you. But again, you definitely have a lot of power within yourself for manifesting relationships. Again, it's all about making that physical. Um, physical movement towards it. Um, I did forget, by the way, to take a um, an Alice in Wonderland card for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle that out real quick. So what does pile number four need to know about their love life in the month of April, 2020? Those that are drawn to pile number four, what do they need to know about their love life? I wonder what will happen next. So it says ready for ready to adventure, pre precipice of change, and pause before action. Oh my goodness. Okay, I love it. And then this one fell down. Who in the world are you? So you are ready to do some kind of adventure. For some of you, you might be thinking about trying to meet somebody that's from a distance. Uh, you might be trying to, you just know, I feel like that something's going to change. Like you have that feeling. And I think that for some of you, it's it's really going to be about you're going to be taking the action to make things change. You're actually going to put some kind of effort forth. Uh, or you might have someone putting effort for towards you, you know, um, putting that effort out towards you. And maybe you're wondering where it will go because there's just so many different possibilities with the Seven of Cups. Um, but I do see a lot of personal power in this reading because of the magician. Um, we have Who in the World Are You? So getting to know the new you. For some of you, again, with this Chiron um, stuff coming out, it's like, it might be like, you know, getting to know the new you. Because we have your true nature is reflected in silence. So maybe some of you have been going through this kind of like, you know, medi meditating a lot or really focusing on yourself and, and getting to know yourself in a new way. Maybe you've been trying to heal old relationship patterns or old patterns that you have um, or difficult, you know, ways in which you've been um, overly sensitive or held back or had trauma. And it's like you're finally starting to feel 
a little bit better, you know, a little bit more active. Not even a little, I think it's gonna be a lot. I think that you guys are um, gonna be feeling quite optimistic about your love life in the month of April. And I think that you're gonna start to see some changes coming in as well. Um, I almost wanna take another card for you guys, which I did not for the other piles, but gosh, you know, what, what the hell? <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> Let's see her. What messages are there for pile number four in regards to our love life in April? In April 2020, what messages do you have? What messages? Listen to your intuition. You're ready. See, before it might not have been the right time, right? But now you're getting more ready. And maybe you've been listening to your intuition more. That's, well, I think that's part of what the magician's about is like le listening to your intuition. It's it's about combining all the elements. So you know, knowing when to to make that action. One more message for those that chose power number four, please. But you're definitely ready to make some kind of move forward, which I like. This this is actually my favorite pile that came out. Okay, there we go. Trust. So trusting that, you know, the right things are going to happen for you in your love life. Nice. Okay, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take some Scrabble pieces. Now, I want to, I, I do love to watch Ciara Stebbins do it. If you haven't watched Ciara, she has a great channel too. Um, and I've had these for a while. Darlene reminded me, one of our um, you'll see her comment here a lot. We talk a lot on Instagram. She reminded me this morning. She's like, oh, you should use Scrabble <laughs> pieces in your readings. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've had those sitting for like a month now or maybe even over a month. I got them a while back and haven't been using them. So we're going to use them. And if you see any words, let me know. Um, if you don't want to watch that, you can probably click out now because it's just going to be doing this. So I'm going to pull out some tiles. Trying to mix them up a little bit. And uh, we'll see what words come out for you guys. I already see two R's. Ooh, okay, I see door already. Door. Yeah, you're ready to open some new doors, I feel like. Or you're going to be opening some new doors um, towards love. Let me just get... There we go. That's enough. That's enough. We have baby. So maybe they're looking for a new baby. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> We have, well, Ray. I was trying to look for some names to see if any names come out. Maybe some initials. I see Ray. I see... I see Toad. Don't kiss any Toads. <laughs> or maybe you'll kiss a Toad and it'll turn into a prince. <laughs> or a frog. It's usually a frog, right? But whatever. Practically the same thing. Except for it's not. Someone will tell me <laughs> how it's not the same thing. <laughs> and I'll be like, you're right. <laughs> Rob. Okay, here's Rob. Mm, oh, yeah, we have Toby, too. Toby. Man, okay. No E's. I was going to say rare, but no, we don't have any E's. Rat. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you see any words and you want to point them out down below, I love it because <laughs> it's. I think it's fun. It's just something I thought it's fun to add in. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you see and what words you see. And uh, wishing you all the very best April for yourself. I really do think you guys are going to have a pretty good month. Like, it's generally going to be very good. Um in love. I think for many of you, you will have somebody in your life that you're talking to, getting to know more, pursuing and stuff like that. Again, I think, remember, just remember, you're good enough to pursue, you know, anybody that you want. You have the power to do it. 
don't hold yourself back, okay? Um, if you guys want a personal reading with me, um, which are private video readings, that's all down in the description box below. So I have my Etsy store where you can purchase a reading. And then as well, there are my Amazon wish list where anybody who um, you know gets something off the Amazon wish list will always get a reading in return as a thank you. And uh, yeah, um, if you want to... Uh, wait, I totally lost my train of thought because I was like looking at the letters. <laughs> so I'm so spacey sometimes um yeah so just be sure if you get something off my Amazon wish list to leave me your email or your Instagram also if it seems like the shipping time is outrageously long just let me know through email or Instagram that you got something and then I could just schedule it so that your reading comes uh, happens before as long as you're not concerned about you know that deck that you you know if it's a deck for instance that you get um that it's not used um if you want to wait for the deck then you know then no but um if you're willing to just get a reading without it um you could just email me in advance and let me know and so um because i know that some things are taking a long time to ship but not always because like eric got me the crow tarot and that came really fast um i think he had got it just like less than a week a week a week ago when it came yesterday and then as well he got something for my birthday um the steampunk tarot and that's coming and I think it's supposed to be here really fast too and he got it because he was like worried because my birthday's on the 18th so he's like oh maybe it'll get there in time and it actually came a lot faster so or it's coming a lot faster it's not here yet but <laughs> I thought that was kind of weird so I guess maybe Amazon's also trying to be careful with their shipping estimates just not to give anybody false hope um but anyways I do wish you all the very best wishing you and your family members you know lots of good health during this time Take care of yourselves, guys, and sending you lots of love, and I'll see you all in the next reading.